There's one thing about Lumix cameras that I don't feel like enough people talk about, and that is just how damn good of a deal they are. Recently, I've been doing quite a lot of perusing online at other camera brands, just purely because I'm interested, not because I'm in the market to buy anything else. Um, and I've actually been quite surprised at how much value you get when you shoot a Lumix. And to be honest, I feel like that's something that not enough people sort of, you know, put at the top of the priority list when they are buying into a new camera system. So in today's video, I just want to sort of compare the sort of pricing between different brands so you guys can actually you see how good of a deal you get with Lumix cameras. So first and foremost, I want to start off with a thing that really pissed me off, and that was when I went to the DJI store and looked at their Ronin 4D 6K. So here we are on the DJI store uh, looking at the Ronin 4D 6K, which of course is their flagship cine camera. Um, and you know, it's six grand for the 6K version, and then it's about sort of nine and a half grand for the 8K version. But that's not what I'm interested in. Of course, comparing that to Lumix cameras will be stupid because this is a higher end product. But there's something on the website that actually really surprised me. So when you go here, it says recommendation, 4D RAW license enables Apple ProRes RAW. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Don't we have that with Lumix cameras? Let's take a closer look. So you press buy now, it takes you to the page. £899, are you having a laugh? £899 so that you can shoot ProRes RAW on this camera. When this one includes it already, so does the S5, so does the S1H, and then you can upgrade the S5 too, or the S1 for like £200. I think that's how much the upgrade key costs from Lumix. So we're comparing £200 to upgrade to use RAW with Lumix cameras that don't already have it, um, compared to £900 with another camera system. Even though it pains me to say it, I think the only other camera brand aside from Lumix that does a sort of value proposition thing somewhat okay would be Sony. And that's not because their bodies are super affordable or good value for money. In fact, I think they're the opposite. It's just because the e-mount has been around for so long now that there's a lot of third parties that have started to introduce products that use the e-mount. So that means you can buy a lot of third party lenses for not much money and therefore sort of get good value for money in that regard. Now I know the Sony a7S III can output RAW like the Lumix cameras can, they can do Apple ProRes RAW, I'm not too sure about Blackmagic RAW, probably not. Um, but the a7S III costs £3,549, which means that it's over £1,000 more expensive than the Lumix S52X. And guess what guys? You you can spend that extra thousand pounds on lenses, on more memory, on other sort of accessories that you might want to get to beef up your Lumix camera. And while I'm on the topic of roasting the affordability of other camera brands, you know, I can't leave Canon out, so let's have a little look here. Um, I think the one thing that is really obvious about Canon, especially with their mirrorless cameras, is just how damn expensive RF mount lenses are. Of course, you can do RF to EF and then just use any EF, you know, lens that you want to, but realistically when you're buying a new shiny camera, don't you want to have native glass for that? Um, and yeah, I mean Canon RF glass is both super expensive and also there's not really that much of it. Um, so yeah, I mean let's go to Wex now and actually have a look at some Canon RF glass and to see how crazy ridiculous it is. So the Canon RF 24-70 f2.8 for the RF mount costs £2,549. Keep that in mind. The Lumix S Pro 24-70 f2.8 Point eight is £1,799 now in the UK. And what was the RF mount? Oh yeah, £2,549. But wait, there's currently £400 cashback, so that becomes £2,149, including your cashback, which will take months to get to you, and realistically it's just an annoying way to do cash off, to be honest. Then doing another one. So the Canon RF 7200 f2.8 for RF mount is £2,849, but becomes £2,400 when you get your cash back. And then the Lumix S Pro 7200 is £2,099. Of course, I know the RF version of their 7200 f2.8 um, is lighter and smaller than Panasonic's S Pro version, uh, but realistically, you're saving £300 here, guys. Not also the amount that you're saving on your actual camera body as well. And looking now at the Canon R6 Mark II, which came out quite recently, I believe. I mean, that camera costs £2,739, or two and a half, basically, with your £250 cash back. Um, I don't even know what the specs of this camera are, so I'm going to look with you guys. Uh, Oversample 4K60 or 6K raw footage. Great, that sounds good. Yeah, I love that. But that costs almost three grand. 
this costs close to two grand. And then like I was talking about earlier, if you start adding the cost of your RF mount glass to that as well, it becomes very, very expensive. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if you guys were sitting there right now thinking that this video is just one massive sales play for Lumix cameras, um, because of course it sounds like that. It's just that after I saw that thing on DJI's website about the raw upgrade costing 900 pounds, it literally infuriated me and it inspired me to actually get in front of my camera and just talk about one of the biggest reasons why I love this brand so much and why ultimately I think more people should be turning to this brand and investing their money in the L1 ecosystem because ultimately I think especially in this day and age with the cost of living crisis, especially in this country and also globally, we really do need to be more careful when we're thinking about investing our money in equipment because ultimately we all want the best bang for buck possible and I think that Lumix delivers that on every single front. And that's why guys, I feel so comfortable sitting in front of the camera talking to you guys week in and week out about these cameras because ultimately I know that the value that you get with these cameras is absolutely insane. And that's why I'm so happy to have my name attached to the Lumix brand. Throughout this video, I've been talking about the Lumix S5-2X quite a lot. Well, at least the specs that this camera has. Um, so if you are interested in learning a little bit more about this camera, then definitely check out this video here because I go a lot more into depth about what this camera can provide in such a small and affordable price package.